Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to our channel. I'm Liang Pingtao.、Uh, what does it mean to be an artist today, and what do they do exactly, and why do they do that? Tonight we have six artists from all over the world in in the studio with us, and then、uh, to share their story and to talk about their work. And besides, their family and friends are also in the studio with us tonight. So let us give them a big hand. And welcome them with us. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> and then to for starter, who want to begin? Yusuke, can I ask、yes. you first? Can、okay. you give us a brief self introduction?、Um, I'm Yusuke from Japan, and、um, usually I'm working sound and visual work, and I'm staying here for artist in residency for three months. Is this、and、your first time being in Taiwan? No, it's. Uh, third, uh, fourth time. Your fourth time.、Mm. Wow. And then, is this your first residency experience in Taipei? In, in Taiwan? Taipei, and also in my life. In your life, your、uh, first. It's first time to stay in some other country for the artist in residency. Oh, okay. How, how 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 do you like your experience so far? Sorry. How is your experience so far?、Um, here. For the、yeah. experience in yes. here. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you seems a bit nervous. You all right? No. Um. In terms of people about his relationship. I have. I have lots of experience here. Ah, be bad experience. Yes. Sometimes.、Well, can you explain that? What What happened to you? Yeah, I went to the police office. <laughs>、uh, you went to the police station. Yeah. I went there, and ten of the policemen asked me. They took you to the police station. Yeah, and、um, yeah, kind of like this. And <laughs>、okay. uh, policemen asked me a lot of things, like、uh, where you come from, what is your nickname, or something. What is your nickname?、Uh, my nickname is、uh, <laughs> actually、uh, Lucky Bastard. <laughs> yeah, and I answered、uh, my nickname because the police、uh, asked me. Yusuke, we we have kids in here, but just yeah.、Okay. Yeah, but I don't know.、Uh, yeah, actually, he asked asked me, so、oh, I just answered.、Mind. Yeah, and he just typed in Lucky Buster, and so <laughs> in the police office there is、uh, my card, and this is Yusuke Fuyama, and his nickname is Lucky Buster. I got you with him. So it's a kind of、uh, good experience for my residency. It's、so、a it's, bad experience. No, it's a bad. It's a, a kind of stressful. Like five hours in a. You spend five hours there. Huh? You spend five hours there.、Uh, long, and but it was good、five、experience.、Hours. Yeah, for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. <laughs> for sharing.、Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks. It's, it's,、uh, I hope you're getting feeling better after afterwards.、Uh, Sarah, can you give us a brief self introduction of what you do, and then、uh, what are you doing now in your residency? Okay.、Um, in this residency, I basically started out with giving workshops. Okay. And,、um, and you have invited three、uh, participants from your workshop here yeah, with us tonight, yeah, right? Yeah, they、okay. will do like a little performance later.、Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the workshop is called "Exploring the Subconscious Mind," and what we are doing is basically exploring different kinds of techniques、mm -hmm. which you can make connection with, like.、Um, Yeah, your subconscious mind. So, like、uh, in daily life, we are、mm -hmm. in a different state of mind、mm -hmm. that it's not so easy to make connections. But when when you slow down or when you get, for example, a lot of、uh, different information, you can get more connection with、okay. your subconscious mind. So also, when I read your information, you're also specializing non-violence communication. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, that's a method actually of、uh, using language in、mm -hmm. such a way that you connect more with feelings and needs instead of、um, 
evaluating things, like in, instead of judging things, mm -hmm. instead of already uh, having a picture attached to okay. something what's happening, you stay more in the more connected with yourself, with life in yourself or life in the other person. So you don't really because, uh, form a perceived, you don't have a perceived idea of other yeah, people. Yeah, you people. try to stay okay. out of that, yeah. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you could uh, explain that a bit more later. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing. And then, uh, Bungu, mm -hmm. please tell us what you do mm -hmm. and then where you're from and... Uh, <coughs> Hello, I'm... And speak up if possible. Yeah. Yes. I'm Kang Eun Gu. I'm an artist. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Go on. Go on. Yeah, I, I'm an artist from Korea, and I study a uh, major of sculpture and uh, multimedia video. Multimedia video. video yeah. Okay. And I had. A five solo exhibition in Seoul and Beijing, and I'm working in Seoul. You work in Seoul. Yeah. And is is this your first time being in Taiwan? No, I twice. Twice. Yeah. When was last time, and what did you do in front of your last trip? Uh, What's the purpose of your trip last time? Honeymoon. A honeymoon. <laughs> you had your honeymoon in Taiwan. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask how was that experience? The same as UK? Were you? <laughs> is it different? Different. I, different. I, I okay. I'm so good. You were. How how long did you spend uh, uh, your, your honeymoon in Taiwan? Um, Thailand in about one week. One week. Maybe one week. Okay. Yeah. When was that? Uh, I. Tansui. Tansui. I go to Tansui or okay. and sightseeing the city. Okay, so it will be a sidetrack. Can you give us a, I'm interested in, uh, in your educational background. What, what it is like to study art in Korea? What is it like? You study in uh, sculpture in, in, sculpture in, in, in Korea. Sculpture. What it is like? What it is like to study sculpture in Korea? Is it very serious, very like? Mm. Demanding. Serious. Very serious. Maybe serious. Yeah. Okay. Or in short, how was your experience in uh, in school in in Korea in in our education? Is it good experience or overall or a bad experience? In my case, mm, good. good. Good experience. experience. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to uh, Tim. Yeah, hi. I'm Tim Burns from currently from Western Australia, out in the bush a little bit. Um, I'm obviously the oldest one here. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. uh, I think so. Okay. Um, I do, you know, whatever comes up. Um, I'm sort of contextual sort of worker, really. Contextual where, worker? Yeah, like where the, you know, the idea of the kind of the work is transmits the best medium that it should appear in mm -hmm. um, and so I work in different mediums. Uh, currently I'm painting which is unusual for me but uh, I actually did a set for this show but it's too big to put up really and um, got the size wrong. Uh, but yeah and but I work in film and, and video and various other things. And when you first get here you had Performance? Okay. I'll show you one later on. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> one performance. Ching <laughs> Ching. Ching Ching, okay. Uh, how was your ex residence, uh, residency experience so far? It's been great. I mean, I haven't got out of the place yet. I'm yet to get on the street, but the inside of this place is it's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Um, I, I have been, you know, up and down the street a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, um, I got caught up in the... And is, is that your, your suitcase? Yeah. And I saw some firecrackers. Well, 
firecrackers too I far I mean, it's away. not like New Year's Eve or like Chinese New Year. Uh, what do you do? Yeah, you get them from funeral houses here, right? And, well, and for openings and closings. Okay. So I don't, I'm not sure which is going to be yet. Okay, you can be careful. You be, be careful, and then you stop yeah. him if you. The blood is too dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, I have to stop you here. And uh, Pauline, okay, you, um, you. We find them hard to get in Australia, of course. Okay, can you just put it under the table? It's a bit distracting. Yeah, yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Pauline, you're a writer, and then uh, from from the state, can you give us a brief self introduction of what you do and what you what you're doing now in here? My name is Pauline Chen, and I'm from Ohio. Do you mind speaking up? I'm from Ohio, and um, I'm a novelist. And my first novel came out in 2008. It's called Paling and the Chicken Fried Christmas, and it's a book for children. And my more recent novel is The Red Chamber, uh, which came out in 2012. Right now, I'm in Taiwan working on a future novel, not, not the next one, but the one after that. And it's a love story between a Taiwanese woman and a Japanese soldier during the final years of World War II. And I'm here um, gathering, um, doing some historical research, reading memoirs, and also speaking to, to older people about their memories of the Japanese occupation. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how is, uh, how's your writing coming along and hearing your um, at, at this point, I'm not actually writing. Uh, okay. at, at this point, I'm still gathering information. Um, but I've found um, some scholars here who mm. know a great deal about the period I'm interested in. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of information um, and understanding of what it was like then. And when I was looking at your, your background, your story, you were, when you're studying, you first study classic in, at Harvard, and then you mm -hmm. switch to law, yes. and then eventually you go, you went to uh, study uh, Chinese literature in Princeton. Yes. Why is this shift in, uh, um, in studying? I I would say that from since from since when I was a child, I was always interested in literature, but I didn't envision becoming a writer mm -hmm. because I didn't think it was uh, financially uh, <laughs> viable, <laughs> and so I. Not, not that but how, how about now? It's okay. <laughs> right. it's okay. um, so, yeah, basically I tried to do more practical work that, that would allow me to, to work with words and language, uh, which I love. But you're um, now teaching in, in the States. Do you have time writing? Actually, I, I'm, I'm no longer teaching. I, okay. I, I quit my teaching job in the to States focus in on to focus on writing, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Flux, please tell us about your work, and then... Uh... Yeah. Um, so my artist name is Flox, and I guess, well, I'm from New Zealand, and most people in that small art community know me by that name, Flox. Why? So do, do, I, can, I, can I ask why? Why it's because you prefer I'm, to be called Flock instead of Hallie? Yeah, I just think, mainly from a PR point of view, I've always gone with that short, sweet name, Flox. It comes from an obsession from uh, with birds. So a lot of my earlier work is, um, you know, uh, very much so um, uh, surrounding that thematic, if you like. Um, so flocks, as in flocks of birds. Mm -hmm. So that's where that came from. Um, and I started after I graduated with a Bachelor of Design in 2003, majoring in painting. It wasn't until that, at that point that I picked up a spray can and I started to do a bit of street art and a bit of public stuff. So um, that's when the name was born um, and that's really when, I guess, things really started to move along. Okay, thank you. And then uh, I think we have done, or I think all of you have a little, a, a, a better idea of who they are and what they do, but I think we will have artists who have use K to yep. show a piece that you, you uh, a piece of performance here with us. Okay. Okay. And before we take a break, can you uh, show us? Can we can you do it now in the studio? Okay. All right. So you have a model. You invite yeah. a model, right? Okay. She's a model. Okay. Betty. Betty. Okay. So use K 
and Betty is going to do a performance for us. Okay, let's give him a big hand, please. Yusuke, <laughs> please speak up and explain what you do. Um, I usually make a, a kind of data translation art, like digital data to unroll, unroll to digital or something. And uh, this work is a kind of total bionic treating machine of human body. And for uh, getting more inspiration. Do you mind to show us? Okay, okay so uh, I use uh, this kind of electric part to the human body. Okay. And this uh, stimulates to the muscles. Okay. But so, it's not harmful. Sorry? It's not harmful to you. It's just... Electromagnetic shock. Mm -hmm. Electric. Okay. Betty, are you okay? Uh, you? Yeah. Okay. And this too. And this is a device here. It's uh, the electric uh, stimulation machine. Mm -hmm. And if I turn up the electric stimulation to her body. And also I translated the electric signal to the... Uh, my uh, my own program and it translate to the flashlight and mm. sound too. So uh, the, not only the uh, stimulation for the muscles and the body, uh, she will receive the, the eyes and ears too. Mm -hmm. So it's total okay. stimulation. Okay. So uh, can I light on or? Do you want to light off? Do yeah, you want to light off? Okay. And, uh, do you mind turn the oh, lights off for him? That is fine. It's more. Oh, okay, yeah. It's more cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we turn the lights off a little bit? No, just for the yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. You're scared. You, 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 you're smiling? <laughs> okay. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's a medical machine, so it's just fine. Betty, you, you, okay, you're, you're right. Okay. If you hurt, it, just tell me. Okay. I never stop. Sarah, are you curious about the, the feeling? Do you want to try? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah, look at this. Are you sure? <laughs> look, look closely. Look, look at Betty's face. Are you sure you wanted to try? Yeah, I want to try, but not now. Do we have audience here who, who wanted to try? No. Tim, do you want to go for it? Yeah. Go give it. Have a go. Okay. So um, can can Tim do it? Yeah, sure. Okay. You want? Let's yeah. keep. Uh, let's keep. Betty, a big hand. Thank you so much. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> How do you okay. feel? Uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. It's not blurring a scene and then. Okay. Okay, let's keep. Uh, team, hold on. Let's give Betty a big hand and then thank you. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to have a break. And when we come back, team, you. You tried, okay? Okay, let's take a break. Thank you. We'll be back soon. Bye. This uh, shoulder to the, the inside of this and uh, make some. Okay. And
Okay, welcome back to our channel. Okay, welcome back to our channel. Now, Yusuke is showing, he uh, did his, his, done her, his performance once, and now we want team to give it a try. Okay, Yusuke, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Okay. okay. <laughs> will you do something differently or just similar? Okay. Uh, I, I, I will give him a more... Yeah, train train. Uh, a what? A more what? <laughs> Please be clear, a more what? It's, it's, okay. More go easy on him. Go easy on him first. Okay. More different he still has to see. simulation. Okay, more different? Okay. Tim, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, well, you okay? You, 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 you. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you, you can. Okay. 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 If okay. If you want to expect you want to do this, just come to my studio. Okay. Uh, five minutes, uh, uh, 300 Taiwanese dollars. What? <laughs> okay. um, you, can, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Maybe you so, will add more inspiration. Okay, so if you want to be electrified and tortured by uh, <laughs> Japanese artists. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Yusuke. Thank you. Hey, Sarah, can you uh, show... Uh, Show your work for, uh, for yeah. us. Okay. So I would like to speak about two different works. Two like, different works. Yeah. Okay. One is, uh, yeah, later it will be added inside the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one work is Observatory of the Self 2.1. Okay. It's a series where you basically um, you are reflected back. Your mm -hmm. image is reflected back. And this one is. Um, working like a solar system mm. so you are in the center and you are representing the Sun and then the planets are turning around your head right and uh, yeah the planets are mirrors so it's like you are the center of the universe and um, the outside world is reflecting your mm -hmm. thoughts and your um, yeah, subconscious mind actually. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the the work that you you brought here is sort of the continuation of yeah, the it's the observatory of self seven point one. Okay, will so you? I will show it with okay. some uh, volunteers. My okay. workshop now you have like participant. three, three yeah. participants from your yeah. workshop. Let's give them a, a big hand and welcome them to the studio. <laughs> Okay. I'll help you. Okay. So okay. So yeah, they can put the device. Okay, I'll, I'll help you. Um, okay. So this I is the device. Yeah. Okay. And basically, there yeah, is a okay. mirror inside, and okay. they just put it on their head. Okay. 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 So yeah, I in the. So what is what is in the back? It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Yeah, just a normal mirror. And um, before we came here, uh, I gave them my workshop. Oh okay. Uh, you had a uh, workshop before. Yeah. yeah okay. It's just uh, one day of six days actually, and. Oh really? It's this, a, a six session. Okay. Yeah, and this day we uh, explored the gazing. So. Gazing. Okay. Yeah, and. This uh, advice is made for the gazing, yeah? Okay, it's so, a very short distance. Yeah. I so wonder you what... look yourself in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then if you look long enough, it will like, yeah. You, psychedelic? Yeah, it becomes <laughs> psychedelic. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me, can I, can I ask you? How, uh, can I ask you in Chinese? Uh, how do you feel now? It's just to see I was asking them how they feel when they look at them, uh, look at themselves in the eyes so close. Yeah. Can you really? Yeah. I... You can do it. Yeah. Okay. 
Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> Neil, say to Chen, have you looked at yourself in the eyes so closely before? Uh, not for so long time. Not for a <laughs> long time. Okay. Okay. So, usually when, you, when they wear the device, when the physician wear the device, uh, do they move about with this device? No, no, no. 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 It's just about <laughs> making the com connection actually with so, your inner self. Like so when they wear it, they usually stand up or they, they, you want them to sit down? No, sit down is better actually. Sit, sit yeah. down, okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, how long are you going to them do this? I think 10 minutes uh, is the best. 10 minutes? Yeah, then the effect gets uh, stronger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but maybe for the show, they uh, sit down. Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay, yeah. please come <laughs> and tell us. Uh, tell us how it is. It's like just okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, okay. Ungu, do you want to try? Sure. Okay. Who else want to try? Okay, thank you, man. Okay, you here is a little bit Okay, thank you. Let's let's give them a big hand and thank you for the participants. <laughs> you okay? Can you s s stand here? Thank you. Come. Okay. When do you have a different size? Cause uh, no. Yeah, it's no, one size. It's one okay. size fits all. It's, okay. It's it's feeling a bit tight. Yeah. yeah so okay. Some people it's a bit tight. Okay. Yeah. So but you may okay, consider right? a larger size of uh, the wearing device. Yeah. Okay. I, I can, on order, I can make it bigger. Yeah. Okay, you can, it's custom made. Yusuke, have you looked at yourself? <laughs> uh, how, how are you feeling right now, this moment? You, you have to look at, the, uh, the participant have to look at the mirror, right? Yeah. Okay, they all the time? They look themselves in the eyes. Okay, mm. can you do that? Okay. But it, yeah, it's... If you are a bit trained, like my uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, participants, okay. then uh, it's easier. Okay, so usually when you, know. before they wear the device, you give them some instructions. Yeah, or I do a guided uh, introduction, <coughs> like mm -hmm. when they are wearing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now they are not only wearing the device, but they are also listening to you and then, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, and I will make them more relaxed it's kind of meditation do you play music? actually do you, do you, are there any background music in, that could be possible but i uh -huh. didn't do it so no, far that mean, is uh, one of the other workshops can I they move about like that yeah they can do what they want <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you sarah thank You're you Ungo. thank you okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, now we have Flux. Flux, uh, will you give us a, can you explain your work for us? Yeah. Um, so this is the first piece I did um, when I arrived here in Taiwan. What are we looking at? You are looking at a hand cut stencil, um, cut this time actually into some archival paper. It's archival um, paper. Well so. actually, uh, apparently you use it for weddings here. Mm -hmm. It's a red Chinese okay. paper, yes. textured, very, very beautiful. So I wanted something quite quintessential mm -hmm. Chinese, Taiwanese. Where did you get the paper? Um, Milan Art Supplies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In here. Good old art shop. But you yeah. went to a place where they make paper, beautiful paper. Yes, I've been exploring some um, art, uh, some paper making here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So we visited a really old school factory down by Taishung recently mm -hmm. and um, yeah really old traditional ways of making paper so mm -hmm. yeah absolutely beautiful okay. blew me away okay so what are you trying to depict in this uh, in this, this is the Formosan black bear mm -hmm. endemic to Taiwan so I'm sort of coming in with a bit of a conservation angle with with my project um, and some of the themes running through but um, so this is your uh, Formosan and black bear, but I've given him the um, Aboriginal indigenous um, facial tattoo um, that's sort of oh, hiding okay. in there, so which is the okay. forehead piece and uh. the, the cheek cheek parts as well. Um, apparently, the more the more lines you had showed 
yeah, how many more killings you you did, I think. Killing? Yeah, so it was like, a, it was a pride thing. You wore your tattoo with pride. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. You, so, you found this, um, okay. Yeah, so I just, I don't know, I thought it was quite interesting because uh, coming from New Zealand, um, uh, our, our country is uh, very clean and green. We like to think it's we like to think so anyway. And so um, being here in Taiwan, which is my first time, seeing people walk the streets with these um, masks on <laughs> has been like, you know, quite an eye-opening experience for me. So the facial tattoo kind of references that, oh, that okay. whole thing as well. Yeah. And do you mind, uh, will you share your, your like creative process? How do you, process? do you cut them? Like yeah, all so, by hand? Um, my medium is, um, hand cut so my philosophy as an artist and as a as a business owner operator is hands-on um, the handmade if you like in this world full of technology I think um, you know a lot of artists and a lot of just people in general are going back to that analog or that artisan hands-on approach and for me being here where I have all this amazing paper to choose from, um, you know, it's been a really um, amazing experience. Um, and so I've sort of carried my scalpel around in my back pocket now for about 12 years. And um, cuts like a maniac. It's, sort of, <laughs> it's become an extension of my, of my arm, I say. So I, I don't, I've ditched the pencil, like I don't draw with a pencil anymore. I draw by cutting. Oh. So mm. that's kind yeah, of a little bit of an cuts. insight into the process. Okay, yeah. thank you for sharing. That's very interesting. Thanks. Ungu, uh, you brought your work here with us too. Uh, can you explain your work with us, <coughs> for us? <coughs> yeah. uh, I... That one is your work, right? Yeah. The steel is made of steel, and yeah. then it's like a night scape, a cityscape at night. Yeah. And then with LED, with the shooting star that appear every like 30 minutes or uh, 30, seconds 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Okay. So what's the uh, idea? Okay. Uh, I'm very interested in city and uh, society. A society? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you born in the city, in the like big city? Uh, I'm living in Seoul and I have lived in redevelopment area. Redevelopment area. area. Yeah. Okay. What does it mean, redevelopment area? Uh, it's uh, like a. Um, was it a. Like, like a. Like a slum street. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's like a ghetto, like slum. Yeah. Like, okay, underdeveloped area. Yeah. Okay. There's industrial. Industrial? Industrial. Okay. Well, it looks not so industrial. It's just like maybe like cottage or like yeah. short building. So yeah. Okay. Uh, there's uh, not the same as reality. It's because same as? Mm -hmm. Same as, not same as reality. Okay. Because because there are many power and money. What? Power and there are many power and money. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for the development in the big city, there yeah. they involve a lot of powers and okay, money. So okay. That works. Uh, and also, I, I want I was interesting because you a lot of your work was about the like night scape, mm -hmm. like cityscape, but at night. And to you, and I, I wrote the, I read, I read your art statement, and I found something very interesting because you think the darkness is sort of covering up the the dirty part, the aspect of the city. When it's in the dark, when the city is in the dark, you don't get to see uh, the 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 dirty, the, the bad part of the. It's sort of cover up, and then so, what it, what does it mean to you? I mean, the the shoot away and then the the darkness. Okay. Uh, I in, I the, in the in your word. Yeah, I'd like to dark night. Uh, so I'm. I want to describe it. I want to describe it. So negative reality, and I I want to change the emotionally 
something somewhere. Okay. Ungu, thank you for sharing. And then uh, can we have Pauline? Pauline, will you uh, you have you have brought your novel with you? Will you share us uh, tell us what you are trying to express in this novel? Um, so my novel, The Red Chamber, is inspired by uh, Dream of the Red Chamber, which is a, the classical mm -hmm. and beloved uh, Chinese novel. Mm -hmm. And I would describe my work as a very loose retelling of uh, Dream of the Red Chamber in that it takes some of the major characters and it takes the historical setting. Mm -hmm. However, the story uh, and the plot line uh, have been modified a great deal to express my own interests Mm -hmm. which are what was the subjective experience of being a woman uh, in the 18th century. What was mm -hmm. it like uh, having a husband who had several other wives? What was it like um, knowing that your mate would be chosen for you? Mm -hmm. um, what was it like having so much pressure to bear a male child and have that be your only way of advancement? So I have some questions of, about what it was like. And then the final question I think that runs through my work is that in a world where women have so few choices, can they be responsible for their lives? Can they be more, more moral agents? Can they become happy? Can they shape their own lives? Mm -hmm. And um, my purpose, I guess, in writing this book was to introduce Dream of the Red Chamber to a Western audience because mm -hmm. I found that very few Americans had ever heard of this book. Okay. I also wanted to um, create Asian characters that were deeper and more complex because I find in the United States that many depictions of Asian characters are caricatures or you know ultra sexy mm -hmm. women or um, dragon ladies and I wanted to create more complicated characters and then I guess a final mission I have with this book is to find a Chinese audience and to ask them to look at Dream of the Red Chamber with different eyes and to to consider how um, the original Dream of the Red Chamber is about a man, uh, mm. Jia Bao Yu, okay. who sees many women around him suffer, and then over the course of the novel, he understands that, that life is meaningless and, and passions are, are a trap, and he achieves some sort of enlightenment. And the question that I wanted to ask is, the women themselves suffer, don't they change, transform, and get to achieve enlightenment as well? And that's a topic which is less addressed in the original novel. Have you ever uh, came across uh, a, a, China, a Chinese reader or Taiwanese reader who gave you any feedback uh, of, the, of the book? Um, I, I recently met one. <laughs> and, okay, cool. um, and I was very pleased because I, I know some people, without even reading my book, are, are appalled that I would uh, um, attempt to modify something that's Mm -hmm. recognizes so, yeah. it as a classic, but yeah. um, this reader said that she actually liked my book very much mm -hmm. and that it, it did make her look at Dream of the Red Chamber with new eyes and that she under, she felt that my book was a freestanding work of art mm -hmm. and that it should be evaluated as such. Okay, all right, thank you for sharing. And then uh, let's take a break and then we'll be right back and then team, you're the last one and then you will hope Hopefully you'll show, uh, share your, your work with us, okay? That's it. That's it. We'll be right back. Thank you.
welcome back to our channel. Now we have Tim uh, smoking in the studio. <laughs> and, uh, and don't panic, it's part of uh, the performance. Uh, Tim, could you uh, begin? Uh, well, you're already doing it. Uh, can you start your, your performance? Yeah. Yeah. Um, smoking is dangerous to your health. Um, you'll probably die fairly quickly. It's taken me ages. I'm not sure why, but, um, and this could take a long time, but I could show you a faster way in a minute. But he wants to put on the video. You want a video to play like you want now? To run a little bit of that or not? I mean, you've not run it or run it. Okay, it's, it's, play, it's been played. Okay. There's another thing with smoking that people don't talk about, which is... Um, okay. So, uh, Tim, what are we looking at? The video? It's a video of somebody else made, not me. Just from... Well, you can see... So you just are you are you will you uh, explain what we're looking at? Are you uh, this is the my meeting? Place okay. In the country, Western Australia, and I'm doing similar things there that I would be doing here. Okay. Which and is. You look younger. Uh, well, it wasn't that long ago. It was probably health back then. <laughs> I stopped smoking for two years, and now I've taken it up again, which you do not want to do. Okay. That's my sister. Okay. Oh, yeah, see. I got fascinated by explosions, which brings me to uh, this is another thing you don't want to do. <laughs> uh, okay. What you do is you don't put fire and Taiwan fireworks together. Oh, come on, just Tim. What? You, you, they're, they're kids. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Very mild. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, it's not good. Can we have, have the electric fan? Because, uh, yeah, I don't really... The value is... <coughs> okay. Uh, Tim, you okay? You can go have a... Sorry. 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 you okay? Yeah. All right. And... Uh, Thanks to the guys. <laughs> ah, yeah, you guys, uh, you're living just next doors. Okay, next <laughs> neighbors. And um, okay, let's move it. <laughs> Today we have we're, we're not only having artists here with us, international artists here with us, but also their family and friends. So, I would like to know uh, how do they explain what they do to their family and friends, and what do they think about, and then what do they do they do their work differently? After having, uh, say, uh, children, okay. Let's find out. Flux, uh, you have a baby boy, Indy. Mm -hmm. uh, does your life, uh, does your career as a artist change when uh, after having a uh, baby? After, um, after Indy. Mm -hmm. I think um, having children gives you perspective overall in life. So, 
I mean, my art and what I do is my life. So. Excuse me, <laughs> Tim. So uh, it's. I jump the gun. It's. <laughs> Okay. Um, so I think um, having children can help a lot with time management. And, help a lot. Yeah, and actually, you know, because you've only got certain time frames to work within, you so you make use of those, you know, those um, pockets of time as best as you can. So for me, I think I've become more efficient and become more. I on top of my game in terms of time management so yeah it's it's cool i like the balance i like having my family time but then i like doing my doing my stuff as well so so yeah. you think having a baby is actually a positive uh positive thing in, in, yeah, in your career definitely. yeah which makes you more uh, uh better at the uh, time management yes i mean yeah that sounds really cold but overall <laughs> that gives you perspective in life and you know but this uh, in, but uh, but in terms of the subject matter, does does your uh, does indie change the contents or change the the? I mean, I wouldn't say directly. No, no, not so much. I mean, no. I guess as people, as as a person, I'm developing and morphing into this person, and he has he has a part of that because he is a part of my life. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say that he directly influences the art that I'm creating. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for sharing. No problem. Yusuke, you look sleepy. You okay? Okay, you have your friends here with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, what's it? What's it? Hello, what's your name? Yeah. Do you mind speaking up? Stella. Okay. All right. Uh, how, do you, how do you know each other? Um, at the party. At a party. Yeah. Like, so, like, recently. No, uh, one year. Long time ago. Good. Not, not really, but yeah. Okay. So how? <laughs> what What do you think of use case work? Have you seen his show or like work before? This uh, other apart from the uh, the performance. How many times did he give you a uh, this one? You know that. Yes, I saw that before. You saw that yeah, before. Have you year. tried the? No. Have you been? <laughs> have you tried his? Uh, that device before. Huh? Try what? Have you been in that chair, armchair before? Yeah, uh, actually, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that that one machine. Yeah. It's from, from her. her from her place, and I hugged with uh, that. Program. So it's actually uh, some 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 kind of collaboration. It's some <laughs> kind of uh, yeah. Mm, so uh, sponsor. <laughs> Is there orgasm involved? In do you know design? what what he's gonna do with with your with your machine? When he how does he like ask you for for that machine? Ask me? Yeah, because can I borrow it and then just you just give it to him? Yeah, just just give, just give him try something. Okay. He, did he, he, he uh, did he tell you what he's gonna make use of this machine? He uh, when he. First time we use it, he put the um, ear earphone. A earphone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and the sound from the beat. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> and, and how about the the performance you saw earlier today? they were like you know, team and then Betty were were in the performance. What do you think? What do when I think? You, when 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 you using your machine that way? Uh, yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Okay. What do you like about uh, use case work? Like. Hmm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Of course, Betty. Uh. Yusuke, he he uh, study some uh, meditation, uh, issue, issue, okay. yeah, and the uh, sound, and uh, how uh, people subconscious and feeling with mm -hmm. the exciting stuff. So uh, actually, this is for the health, like in the Chinese uh, uh. Chinese uh, 
uh, uh, treat treatment. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's for the health. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, you use little electricity and. Is that how you how you tell them it's good for your health? No, no, no. Uh, my you, when I was you young, okay. we I do that for the. But when health. I look at you in the face, when you're in there, you uh, don't look comfortable. But you, but you believe that's good for your health. Yeah, it's kind of it make you excited and uh, you feel stronger. It's <laughs> not not that hurt. Just like a tattoo feeling. Have you tried the the device uh, for yourself? Yeah. Yeah, more. Really? Hard. Who controlled it? By myself. <laughs> you control the machine. Yeah, and I, then I did the uh, maximum. <laughs> Everything, crazy. every every signals I did maximum. Okay. So this uh, I did team just twenty percent. Yeah. Twenty percent. So twenty percent. So one hundred percent. What like, what was it like? Huh? What's it like to have the like, maximum power output? Um, I cannot control everything of my body. Everything. Okay. <laughs> so and I put this maximum and I, I cannot control my hand and I cannot stop the <laughs> and one minute. Uh, <laughs> so uh, twenty percent. I was like, <laughs> but this is kind of experimental art. It's like acupuncture or myofascial sort of. With the electrodes hooked up, you know, I don't know whether anyone's had it yet. Mm -hmm. You have this uh, uh, acupuncture with the uh, electricity, mm -hmm. like that, you know, a hundred times, mm -hmm. and it's right to the body. Mm. Okay. And uh, good. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And thank yeah. you, Batty and uh, Stella. Stella. Uh, Ungu. Uh, your wife was supposed. Your wife Yura was supposed to be here, but unfortunately, uh, she is ill today. And then you have <coughs> invite uh, your host. Yeah. One in. Okay. So uh, how was? Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to ask one in when you first met. Uh, what do you think of uh, his work? You know. Ungu, Ungu, you're the host, Ungu. Yeah, you're Ungu's host, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, how is how is your like uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? I mean, so far, is it giving you any troubles, or he being like really like really no, he, good? No, he 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 doesn't bring me any trouble. No? He's uh he's a very quiet person, actually. He's a very quiet person. Yeah. Okay. And then, <laughs> and has he any asked you for anything very special that makes you like wonder why? As an artist, because usually when we think of an artist, they usually ask weird questions and then like request things that's unusual. No, not really. It's not the case for him. No. Okay, so he's being very nice on you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then uh, can we have Sarah? Okay, you brought three participants here. Okay, I want to know from your perspective uh, what it is like to be in Sarah's workshop. Uh, anyone? Yeah, what's it like to be in Sarah's workshop? Okay. Um, well, it's my first experience of Do you meditation. Do my speak up? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and exploring different kinds of meditation. Meditation. You think mm -hmm. that's a form of meditation? Uh, um, more of um, observing. Also. Observing. Yeah, observing yourself after some meditation. Yeah. Okay. What kind of instruction does this Sarah give you? Can you fully understand each other, like linguistically? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, what kind of? Do you remember anything? He say in particular to you. Do you remember? Um, you have to let all your um, every thoughts were. Um, it's okay. Yeah, you can experience it, and and um, you don't have to do a lot of effort to to um, to judge what 
you feel right or wrong. Sarah, do you have anything to add? Are they uh, telling no, the truth? I think story? they are good uh, students. <laughs> <laughs> Will you uh, continue uh, joining her workshop? Yeah. Sarah's workshop? Yeah. Were well, we were in the middle. You were in the middle? Yeah. Uh, we, how many sessions are you? Have you six sessions. Six sessions. Yeah. And you were in session three. Three. Oh, okay. Okay. How about you? Uh, what what is nonviolent communication to you? Oh, this is not a nonviolent communication it's not, oh, okay. workshop. <laughs> but this is well, uh, how it, how it is like to uh, to to be in a workshop who's who is specialized in nonviolent? Do you feel uh, no, communication? It's nothing to do with that. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's exploring the subconscious mind. Okay. Workshop. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you mind just uh, explain a little bit more? Okay. Yeah, so every session we explore a different way to uh, go more deep inside yourself, like not uh, letting your thoughts overrule, but just see what's happening, like when you just let the thoughts float by, but have the other uh, feelings mm -hmm. in your body or images or sounds which come up when mm -hmm. you are completely in this, uh, how do you say, uh, yeah, in this state that you just go with the flow, just you feel what, uh, where you are, what thoughts are coming up, but you don't get attached to thoughts, you don't judge them. Mm -hmm. So, and we explore it in different ways, with sounds, with movement, with uh, like today with the, the gazing. Mm -hmm. So um, that device is actually, you think, is helpful for, for people to achieve that uh, uh, the so-called like non-attachment, non-judgmental mm -hmm. state of mind. Yeah. You, so you think that device is actually helpful without, uh, with proper instruction and training? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for sharing. And then let's take a break. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, welcome back to our channel. Team, uh, who are you invited to the show? Can you, can you tell us uh, who are, who are you uh, speaking Christy to? Christy Crash. Christy Crash. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us how did you uh, guys know each other? I used to be his teacher, or her teacher. It was a he then. Uh, yeah, I used said, to be say it again? I, 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 don't, I lost you. It's a, you were his. I was his teacher at school. At his teacher? At, yeah, at Media College. And but before the show you told me it's and Christy Crush. Blackmailed him into doing a um, a, a play. Mm hmm And since then we've been doing okay. other plays, haven't we? Uh, can you Christy? make it turn it into a full full screen? Can you make it full screen? Oh, yeah, okay. And then uh Chrissy, uh Oh can I um, yes. Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What, what happened to the burka? Yeah. Do you, can you uh, uh, brighten up a little bit more? Brighten up. Okay. That's 
What's that? Okay. So, Chrissy, what? So, Tim, what? Can you ask? Uh, what can Chrissy, I say? Um, uh, just what time is it over there? What time is it over there? It's the same time it is here. Same time. Yeah, we're on the same time thing. We're on a uh, same time zone. Yeah, same time zone. Oh, okay. There he is. He's he's on now, and it's a beautiful Afghani burqa, which he uses to kind okay. of go uh, to things. I remember you say that Chrissy was your assistant. What did you do to get together? What kind of project did you I guys do together? Blackmail, basically. I use pretty much. Blackmail. Uh, uh, sorry, blackmail? I, I don't understand. Shush. Okay. Yeah. It's hard okay. to control, though, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, he's supposed to say something nice. Remember the deal we made. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so, can you explain what what do you mean by blackmail? The part blackmail. Mm -hmm. um, well. Uh, just trying to, you know, like, you know, at school, if you didn't sort of do the performance and everything, you could fail, you know, like... Um, do what kind of performance? What do you mean? Well, we put him in a play, didn't we? We put you in a play. Um, he's a... I'm a, a veteran who's got half their stomach blown out from Vietnam. Okay. And he's a... Um, Mm. He's a cook who can't cook, but he's a homeless guy on the street and I take him in and kind of force him to cook for me, but don't pay him. Okay. That's the sort of thing we're doing at the moment. We've been doing this. Um, and he starts off with, like, I never get any of my own work done now, I'm telling you. Right? And I come in and I go, you know. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh. You, uh, you talk to your friends all the time on the telephone, whereas my buddies, my friends, they're all up there. Uh, Tim, I'm sorry, but I, I, I um, couldn't uh, hear Creasy uh, yeah. very clearly. Yeah, no, and then she's can't. still... He or she? It's... Is it he or she? <laughs> yeah, he has to take the burqa off, I'm never sure. Sometimes he comes out on a two, -two mm. and you know, looks really yeah. exotic. And other times, uh, you know... Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> um, it, but when he looks, when he's the best, he looks like this wafer, you know? And, mm -hmm. and, and he has a little bow tie on and a white shirt and mm. pants and stuff. And okay. he serves me dinner, but he never, you know, the cooking is terrible and I can never eat it. I've got a bad stomach. All right. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the cooking, yeah. Chrissy. Actually, the audience thinks the cooking is wonderful because everybody gets fed as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chrissy, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, but we have to let you go and then yeah, we have to move let on. You go, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to make the story up for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All thank you. Audience. Thank you, Chrissy. I'll, I'll, thank I'll, you. I'll pass it. Just wait, wait, wait to the audience. <laughs> okay. There you go. Can you see everyone? <laughs> At least you get to see the audience, and this one not like Berlin last week. Okay, he's he's freezed. Okay, uh, Sarah, you're right. <laughs> okay, uh, Yusuke, are you still with us? Yeah. Okay, sure. Ungu, uh, well. it's fine. You're fine. Uh, Leo and Somia, you you okay? Okay. Uh, but before we move on to Pauline, I wanted to. I was curious. What do you think of? team's uh, <laughs> performance just now, the five Quakers, yeah. Get him a microphone, how much? Okay. Poison, okay. Like Sorry. Okay. There you go. Please speak up. Thank you. Leo. This is Leo. Pauline's mm. Pauline son. Um, <laughs> Be honest. It's fine. Well, um, I, I, was, I was surprised that he set off firecrackers in here. You're surprised? Yeah. Okay. And I wasn't, and then... Um, Do you mind? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And then um, another audience member told me to cover my ears for the firecrackers. And I okay. did, but then for one minute I like pulled them off and it was really loud. Okay. Yeah. And okay, so me in the box too. It would have been much louder. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Mia, what, what do you think? Um, I was slightly worried that they um, might 
explode rather violently. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I've had done it before, so I have no okay. idea what's going to happen. But, um, mm-hmm. but I'm very grateful to the person who taught us to put our hands in our ears. <laughs> okay, okay, there are people. Oh, okay, okay. okay they're very, very, thank you. And then, uh, Pauline, uh, when you were, you, you used to teach before, uh, in, before writing, uh, okay, and then, uh, what uh, when what is what is like when you have uh, as a as a writer when you have kids does that make a difference in in, in your career as a writer and then as a teacher? Um, I, Flo- I, just, mm. I have the same experience that Flox did that that having children actually makes you in the time that I do have to work that I, I focus more and am more efficient and I think it, it having children makes you throw the idea of inspiration mm-hmm. out the window that you, you write when, when I write when my kids are in school and, um. I, and that's when I write and I, I don't write when they're at home and so it does it makes me more disciplined mm-hmm. as, as a writer and it makes me understand that you can't wait, wait for inspiration. Have you ever explained what you do to the uh, to your to Leo or Somia have you or have you asked their them for you? Their opinions, like, or they're just too young to. No, we, we always talk about my work, mm-hmm. and often when I have a new idea, I, I mention it to them, or I talk about the process of writing, and um, I, I actually think that they know a lot about it, and I think it's important that they know a lot about it because I spend a lot of time mm-hmm. on it. Leo, uh, have you read your uh, your mom's uh, novel? Yes, I have read all of my mom's Which one? books. Both of them. Both of them. And then, would you share your experience of reading uh, The Red Chamber? Well, um, um, what do you think? I thought I really liked The Red Chamber. With it, um, I had all, I known for a long time what the basic storyline was, but I hadn't read like um, Dream of the Red Chamber, mm-hmm. so I didn't really know exactly what it was going to be like. and So I didn't really have that many expectations when it came out, but after reading it, I, I really liked it a lot. Does that uh, inspire you to read the uh, the original? I mean, in Chinese. <laughs> um, I know you're learning uh, the Mandarin, the Chinese, in here while you're staying here. Yeah. Um, I at some point I would like to. Okay. And uh, by the way, you're you're learning uh, Chinese. How was how was that experience? Um, it's good. I'm learning Chinese at Guo Yu Zhi Bao. Okay. And um, I think I think they're a very good school. Okay. So Mia, were you? Have you read uh, your mom's writing before, uh, um, novel before? I've read her first book, which is for kids, mm-hmm. which is Paling and the Chicken Fried Christmas, but I haven't read The Red Chamber yet. Do you want it to, to mm-hmm. read? Okay. Um, mom says I'm too young. <laughs> You're so. too young to read? <laughs> okay, when, what, what's the ideal age for, for, for the Red Chamber? What is, what's the, <laughs> Um, what do you think? I, I think that the one issue with it is there's there's some sex scenes and that and okay that the the reason that um, ah, okay so I, I, I so you've read that <laughs> Leo yeah. did you discuss that uh, sex scene with uh, your mom? Well, um, I am no. Well, we you don't want it. We didn't actually discuss the scene itself, but I think she, but she's not like she knew I was reading it. Did she do? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I mean, there wasn't. I think that the, 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 the scenes don't really, they aren't really a big part of, aren't really that, especially mm-hmm. a big part of the story, okay. and there aren't that many, so I don't think it, it was really a problem. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, Mia, so uh, when do you think you, you wanted to read the, the Red Chamber? Um, as soon as possible. As soon as possible? <laughs> okay. Uh, you, how was your, uh, were you in Guoyu Zhibao to study Chinese? Yes. Okay, all right. And how was that experience? Um, I think it's going very well and that Guoyu Zhibao is a very good school. Uh, how, what is it like to travel with your mom into here? Is it your first time being in Taiwan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how's, your, how's your experience so far? I think Have you been arrested to the uh, police station like you scared? Wow. <laughs> no. no. How was your experience, Leo? Um, I, 
I mean, I, other uh, apart from learning in Goi Jiba, where else did you uh, go and what do you do? Like, we, do you um, go gather information with your moms or? Um, not really. We, I mean, I'm my main focus is I'm really trying to learn Chinese while I'm here, and so um, but what we went, we traveled around. Like a few weeks ago, we went on a full trip around the island. Right. And what's I mean, it's just really different from America, and we can kind of. Like when we're on the train and we look and we see like all these small houses, it's just mm -hmm. very, very different and all the agriculture and mm -hmm. all the towns and stuff and it's just very different. How about food? Are you okay with the food? It's a huge change. Um, yes, but I, I did, my mom often makes Chinese food at home, okay. so it's not all new and I, I think the food's really good. Okay, are there any difference? Differences in food? Yeah. I mean, um, def definitely, okay. yeah. How about McDonald's? Does it taste the same? <laughs> um, Frank, I want to know your your point of perspective. Well, we, Are they, do they taste the same? Some? Have you? Yeah, I, I, in America, we very we haven't eaten McDonald's for a very long time. You don't? You don't allow them to eat? <laughs> it's, it's not very not healthy. healthy. <laughs> not, it's not very healthy. Yeah. Well, you can try the the machine. <laughs> if you have fast food, maybe you can go to uh, spend three hundred dollars. Go to uh, UK <laughs> Studio. He can do the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> performance <laughs> therapy for you, therapy <laughs> sessions. Yeah, Somia, does it taste similar than like McDonald's in um, here? Basically the same. Basically same. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, I noticed at the McDonald's in Taipei that um, in the back there's like a <laughs> chain that like, goes around and around with mm -hmm. the bags of food, which um, we don't have in America. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, is it, is it, I'm dumb waiter. A, a, say it again. A, a, a dumb waiter. It's a. It's a, like an elevator for food that, that, that okay. brings up the food from the kitchen. Yeah. I, think, I don't okay. think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Leo, and thank you, uh, thank you, Somia. Okay, and uh, we are coming to an end to the show, and let's give the, uh, uh, the guests one last time the big hand. Thank you, and and thank you all for your uh, patience and for watching the show. Thank you. 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 Thank you.